Hey guys, back with another video. And today, but yeah, okay, sorry, I'm back. Not sorry. Uh, so, it would make no sense if AT&T just made, got their headset, got the headset there, and then they just uh, say, oh, what is that? And then the customers say, oh, what is that? They walk into at and they say, they just go in there and just, the customers go in, the customers say, what is that? And then they say, oh, it's a new headset. And they, and they say, well, can, it, can I take it places? Can I take it places? And they would say, well, no, it's just meant for home. People wouldn't go on to it. It wouldn't be bought. People think that's just weird. People wouldn't think it's weird. People would just won't buy it. People won't get it. Um, why would a company, a cellular company, not sell co products that use their network? So, of course, I think their network system on it. And um, so, uh, and, they're, and you, people are going to ask me, well, most people aren't going to be using this outside. Well, people who are hardcore fans are going to be using this outside, at least around their neighborhood, and then just uh, seeing how it can be tested, because it seems boring that you would want to use this only inside all the time. A phone isn't meant to be used inside all the time. It's meant to be used everywhere. A laptop is meant to be used inside because you're in the comfort of your own home. You don't need to be using it outside. It doesn't have any games that are used supposed to be used outside or it doesn't have any here let me but you still take it to places with work with you you still take your electronics with you a desktop is supposed to be used inside because it's hooked up inside um but something this great you would want to use it everywhere because it uses your uh your uh, site. Here's what I think. See, a laptop is meant for inside because it's heavy, and it it's all screen, and it's a big thing, and it doesn't use AR. It doesn't use your camera to look at stuff. Now, your phone, you can be using it anywhere because it records yourself. When you're out recording, you can take it anywhere, and it's small. A headset could be used the same way. It can record. It uses your field of view. It uses your eyesight. And it looks like it could be taken anywhere. So it would make sense that it would have to be used on their network system. So this is great because uh, now we get to see what it can do. And also... Um, we saw a demo. The people are saying, oh, this demo was lackluster. Well, uh, people say, well, um, I think that was a test demo. I mean, people say that demo was lackluster. This, that was kind of like a test demo. I think that was like a test demo. Now, not in the sense of a test demo like their first uh, headset hear, hear me let me tell you it's test in the sense of they were just test t showing you how to use dodge a test I'm sure that they can do more crazy stuff with their headset and uh, do way more better stuff with their headset uh, they can do crazier stuff with their headset not way more better. They can do crazier stuff with their headset. They can do way better stuff with their headset that they're just not showing us it. Now, Ronnie has been tweeting a bunch of stuff saying in defense of their headset. I'm sure he believes that his headset can do way more than what we saw in the, saw in the demo. I'm sure it can. I believe it can. And remember, it's coming out this summer, so we... We don't have very long for it to be coming. It'll, they'll show us what it looks like and what it can do, and we'll see for ourselves how it runs. 
guys, I'm excited, excited for this headset. I'm really excited for this headset. It is coming this summer. It is coming this summer. Let's get hype. It is coming this summer. We finally know when it's coming. It is coming this summer. Isn't that awesome? Okay. All right. <laughs> let's just calm down. Okay. But now, so this summer, this summer. So I'm just, just to clarify, this summer, go look it up this summer. Uh, they haven't said when in the summer, but they, they know this summer. And summer is here. So don't worry. And um, so. Uh, now. Right, right now. Uh, the headset looks small to me. I'm sure you can take it places anywhere at least. And then when you want to take it off of your head it's easy to take it off it's so easy to slip off I'm I don't know because I don't have the headset but it looked when when uh, uh, trying to pronounce his name I know him he's the chief game wizard he's the game wizard of Magic Leap if you know him it starts with Jerem Jerem I, I forgot his name I'm sorry he's a really popular in magic he's really popular in Magic Leap He's, he's the game director, and um, he uh, has long hair. I know I know him. I just don't know his... I forgot his, how to say his name. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know. I forgot how to pronounce his name. But um, he said it looked on... His, when he sh had the headset on, it looked so easy when he slipped it off. So if you want to have a bag with you, a backpack with you on hand, if you want to do that, you can just slip the headset off and put it in your backpack. It's that easy. And then when you want to put it back on, you just slip it back on your head. You don't have to put on these straps and stuff and all this other crap. You, all this other stuff. It's just all this other crap. It's just you slip it off, slip it back on. That easy. And, um, yeah, it just looks nice. And, um, now, uh, right now, oh, and I've seen the FIFA, I've seen all of what Magic Leap does. I've seen the FIFA World Cup have the Magic Leap on. One of the, uh, the, uh, TV shows in, uh, Brazil. If you don't know about it, go look it up. Go to Magic Leap and you'll find it. Magic Leap Brazil World Cup. Um, and uh, they have the headset on and they have a guy, in a holographic guy, playing soccer with two bears. Uh, that sounds a little weird, but hey, they know the hype. They know. I mean, it sounds a little weird, but hey. It doesn't matter. Um, so, uh, but um, so they're ready. I mean, they're they're about to be ready, and I think I heard they just uh, they just uh, put through the FCC their uh, light pack. I saw on Reddit that they they put their light pack on the FCC. Now. I don't know what that means, but I think that's confirmation that it's coming soon. Now, um, right now, um, their headset, it looks good. It, I mean, just imagine when 5G comes, it's going to be crazy. It's just going to be amazing when this product is just out in the wild. Now, I know I've heard people say that um well this headset well this headset is uh over hyped and it might not live up to the expectations look at all these people who are investing into it AT&T I've heard has a lot of money and um they invested a lot into this headset not to mention Google Alibaba and the others the rest so I, I, 
if I, we've got to hope for the best because once the product is out there and once a lot of YouTubers, Hollow Herald, uh, Noah, A. Noah, the subredditor guy, subredditor guy, I'm sorry I said subredditor guy, he, we were, we uh, DM'd each other a lot uh, back in 2000 in like the end of 2017. I'm sorry I called you guy, Noah. Noah, I meant to say Noah. He's a very popular subredditor. He made his own YouTube channel. Go check that out. It's uh, Noah. Go look up Noah and Match Clip. You'll probably find him. Go subscribe to him and do all that stuff. I want his channel to get big so he can get that headset and be one of the big AR company, AR headset, uh, uh, like tech persons, you know, like uh, all the other tech uh, YouTube channels so he can get his first taste of that Magic Leap and then we can all see him test demoing it saying like, oh, so this is the Magic Leap 1, this is how it works and this is what I think of my thoughts on it. It'll, that'll be awesome like his review channel that would be amazing that would be awesome um yeah that would be cool yeah i guess i'm just joking nah i guess um but uh that would be that would be cool and uh, i guess i'm just i'm just joking um but once that all all this happens we'll finally see what it can do and once it comes out there I have a hunch that people are going to say, I'm really surprised. They really surprised me. I have a hunch that they're going to say that they really surprised me. I doubted them, but I, they really surprised me. Every, every non, non <laughs> I'm talking like it's a, like, like it's the second coming of Christ. Every non-believer who thought that magically couldn't do it, they can do it. They finally think. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I think this is it. We'll finally get to see what it can do. At we'll finally have a Magic Leap. We'll finally know what it can do. And, uh, trying to see if I haven't missed anything else. Um, uh, what have I also missed? Uh, I think that's it. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and bye.